please do the beginning looking like that. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Watch this or listen. That was a cool accent at first. And then it you can't <laughs> <laughs> Please. Dude, it's at your what? chin. It's like I haven't seen your chin that no. it's that you're like you're like it's down here. Dude, that, right? that's so it's weird to look at. Me What's wrong with it? I didn't say this anything's me. wrong with it. Dude, if you walk through the out. woods right now, guarantee <laughs> someone think you're Bigfoot. <laughs> I just got a 4K picture of Bigfoot right now. Dude, that it's weird because it looks like you have hair yeah. like coming like down. Mm-hmm. Dude, he looks like me. Whoa. <laughs> Hey guys, just real quick before we start the episode, listen, we are now in the new year. 2024 is here and we want to be your one-stop shop for every event. That goes for your business, for your church, your VBS, whatever it may be. I agree. Yes. He's, I don't know what he's saying, but hey, listen, I just want to encourage you to go to sundaycool.com to order all your custom merch, hats, stickers, shirts, hoodies, everything you could possibly need for your event can be done here at sundaycool.com. Excuse me. I completely agree with everything Andy said. In fact, I'm proud of you, Andy. I'm proud of everything that you've accomplished. The one thing that I do wish is that you had your father. You heard the man. I didn't. I have no idea what he's saying. Um, but listen, sundaycool.com. Love you guys. Now go back to the episode. Let's go. You are just a boy without a father. And it makes me sad. It makes me sad that you grew up without him and I do hope the best for you, but it's amazing of the man that you've become. Um, where do you go? Sundaycool.com. Go now. Does this seem oddly quiet? Yes. Well, is production not going or something? Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're not oh. Going. Yeah. I almost don't like that. <laughs> I know. It is strange. It does not feel like a Friday. Yesterday felt like a Friday. I walked out yeah. there. I got done with the conferences. I was like, I weekend, maybe. But I'm like, oh, no. Weekend, baby. Nope. Did you go to Disney after? I didn't. No. Had uh, dinner with Pastor. That was about it. Speaking of Disney, <gasps> look at our new tray, um, public domain. Hey, you guys remember that time we made a joke about us making a t-shirt? Hey oh, it's happening and it's on the website sundaycoolswag.com. Go now. And it has, it's beautiful. It has the Japanese on the back and the front and it says ninja is a butterfly. I wish you know we have those black and white caps um that we did like it was like really good fabric caps and then we put a patch on it. That would have been really cool to have like a black and white. Oh yeah. Mickey Mouse with ninjas and butterflies around it. We can still Dang do it. it. Dang it. We can still do it. We don't know still anybody do that could do it. Oh wait, but we do we? I guess. <laughs> I was I was looking at the time. I was like, where am I? Where am, where do I work? <laughs> what do I? Sunday do cool. I oh, I don't like that not being noise it's, out there. It's tripping me out. I went out to get a bottle of water, and there was no one out there. And I felt like you I want was to go put the place. music. Yeah, I felt no, like I was someplace you. that I shouldn't be. I yeah, like, got the water and like slowly crept away. Oh man, there was one night that we snuck in here. The night our our wedding rehearsal dinner night. Oh yeah, yeah what's fun? And we <laughs> just partied in the warehouse yep and climbed to dangerous heights yep and Pretty brennan easy. brennan found out he's like one of the best dancers in the world <laughs> we, all, we all found out <laughs> that like, night whoa, whoa. what like, am i doing he's like whoa he's like sliding on his head across the if i find a clip I, i'll show it i will we'll play it well it's wild the, our wedding night too you did this like elaborate dance with brennan oh the night of our wedding yeah oh, that, yeah which was completely improvised which was incredible with yeah. the underwear with underwear, yeah. yeah. And like he was like leaping into your arms very uh dirty. Dude, that dancing. was a good dance. It was. <laughs> what song was it to? Again? What song? We've uh, gotta remember it. It was um 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 near far. Oh yes. Was it yeah. was it that? Maybe Anything. Heart Go On, maybe. Yeah. But have you heard that when they um, when she sings it and it sounds like hot dog? What? No. Oh, At okay. I'm just going to play the one part, but you continue talking. I'm just going to play the one part because you will never be able to yeah, unhear it. You are, this will get flagged for sure. It's just one. It's literally just the no, not, part. No, not you playing no. the section. We'll, we'll save it for when we're talking about it. We'll put it okay. up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's Brennan in the warehouse. <laughs> so funny. <Everybody's> like, <laughs> Definitely can't play the song on there either. Yeah. <laughs> Because I think we were playing Afro Man. Like, what? <laughs> I'm just gonna grab some song that doesn't fit at all and lay it over it, like the Wiggles or something. <laughs> yeah. Hot dog, 
Hot dog. Near, so near, far, hot dog. <laughs> oh, that's not the one. Flag. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're already done. <laughs> <laughs> flag, 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 flag. Just like that, another two hours added to the work. No more YouTube for you. Speaking of songs, <gasps> Lil? Yeah. What? I would like a song. Oh, that wasn't what I was going to ask. Oh, what? We, we, I was going to ask, do you hate me? No. Well, you said, yeah. Well, you said, <gasps> yeah, automatically. I'm like, that was kind of rude. Listen, this is now not Lily, the gaslighting segment. Now Lady, um, Lily has to sing a song. No, Ooh, no, no, no. Do it, please. No. What's what's a song that you know? Like, I don't know any music. There's got to be something. <laughs> do you remember The Little Mermaid? <laughs> When what? you kept on singing it when me and Ada were trying to watch it. Like, shut up. <laughs> didn't you film it? I don't know. You were no. singing along with it? No, or I didn't like- film it. I said, hey, Lil, <laughs> could you stop? That's enough. Can Ada kept on going, no. <laughs> kept on looking at Lil and going, no. I was singing this morning. I'm putting Jane down for nap. And I was singing the bubble bowl from SpongeBob <laughs> really theatrically. That's the She's best. like, what? What is this? Are you ready? Because you yeah. seem like you're not ready. I'm just looking at memories. Okay, well we're we're okay, here I'm now. Attention. You know we're on a nationwide podcast, right? <laughs> you know, Actually, world, worldwide. World, worldwide podcast. Yeah, that worldwide. people love. Okay, <laughs> let's just let's just. Yeah, I mean I, yeah. she's throwing me off, so yeah. I guess we're just gonna have to improv something. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like going back to my high school years. I'm gonna play something similar to that era. Okay, so that would be me and like. Elementary school. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yep. Here mm. we go. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Let me start over. That was terrible. Mm. Oh. Sound good to me. <laughs> Honey, listen to this. It is real great. It made me laugh and cry somehow Honey, why are you doubting me right now? It truly is the best podcast Cause ninjas are butterflies Have really opened my eyes I guess we really should just turn it on Really good to hear their voice Singing, and laughing, and making jokes Coming from the lips of a ninja Hearing those aliens go beep, bop, bop Cause I really love ninjas all butterflies So girl, I know you're really gonna love it So welcome to the show Welcome to the show. Mm. I was off. Oh, I, that I was, was awesome. I was a little fast. That sounded great. I don't think anything hindered your performance today. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's the band Hinder. The hand, it hinders no, the band. No, that wasn't them. Who was it? Really? That's a song from somebody? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Hinder. Was it not? That wrote that song? Yeah. I just made that up. You just made that up? Yeah. I was just going with the flow. I could have uh, swore that was done. No, no, never mind. No. My yeah, bad. I don't know. Congratulations to both of you. Yeah. I mean, that was crazy, right? I don't even know what we're talking about. Hello, Grammys? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, wow. That was so good. <laughs> 10 did minutes inst- later. Did you instantly know what it <laughs> you was? You guys were talking a lot. Yes, I did. Yeah. I was sort of, I How was sort of old were you in 2003? Uh... That's when it came out, six. I was literally in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. I thought that was came out in middle school. Oh. Why was I listening to that song in third grade, I mom? Remember, I remember watching the um, the music video on the VH1 Top 20 Countdown oh, before yeah. school. Mm. Dude, with the, with the comb yeah. over here. We're going to find out. down a lyrics. We're going to find out if that gets flagged on YouTube and if you'll know. And if it, if it did, then you got to go watch it on Spotify. <laughs> you'll find out. Yeah. Mm, 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 but everyone mm. be quiet. Don't interrupt me. I'm going to interrupt you because I have to. 
Let me hear it. Because we have a question today. This question. <laughs> today's question, sitting by a viewer. <sighs> Don't. It's okay. Should people stop exercising? <laughs> yeah, I think they should. Absolutely. Well, yeah, that's my. I that's, mean, I. Yeah. I never exercised. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I would say definitely, definitely stop exercising. I mean, it doesn't lead to any. I mean, I mean, it just leads to all things yeah, bad. That's what's it, 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 it should be avoided. It should yeah. at yeah. all costs. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Some would even say to ban it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Not only stop it, but 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 ban it. But ban it. <laughs> but ban it. But ban it. Lily, what do you think? Should we stop exercising? I think if we're talking about the conventional... No, it's just, it's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. Should we stop exercising? You know the drill. <laughs> no, it is healthy. No, no that's no. interesting. That's, whoa. Andy. <laughs> Lily because just said we should, we should not, not stop, stop exercising. Exercising. <laughs> but continue. <laughs> but Lily says that we should continue exercising. That people should continue exercising. Not us, but people. What about, what about exercising... In the dark arts? <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought you were going to say it with me. <laughs> the, the, the dark, dark arts? arts? <laughs> so wait, if I'm hearing this right, Andy and Andrew, yep. if I'm, if I'm. I'll correct you if you're wrong. Okay. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like Lily thinks that people should continue practicing and exercising in the dark arts, which leads to very dark things and not good things. But really bad things. So Lily wants bad things to happen to this world? I guess That's so. Come on, Lil. Welcome to the show. Leave him alone. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja attack! Leave the demons alone. I went. I was doing this. <laughs> People. It's like, wait, where do I, where do I jump off? It's, you, they you can't the, be healthy. You had the cadence of someone sounding very important. <laughs> so let me get this straight. What you're saying is, people. I should run for political office. It, I, yeah. dude, this, this is the year for it. Elevator pitch, go. Look in the camera. What That's would, you, what that would you change? The people of America are looking right there. Dude, what that. would you tell them? Um, what would you change? What would you do? The no. things that, hello, um, I am Josh Hooper and I will be running for president this <laughs> coming election. And what I really think that we should stop is people flicking their buggers. What do you think about climate change? On, um, it can change into whatever it wants. Whoa. 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 That's a, actually I, a I great. I, I, I stand by that. Okay. Wow. If it wants to change into a better thing. Let it do so. That's a, yeah. That's we a shouldn't goal. be so. We shouldn't be stopping climate change. No, we should be. Um, that's what you're saying. We should be. Um, what how how the French say, "à la simple," hey. which basically means you have the right. It's a very open-minded. <laughs> I, I mean, that's incredible. That's a very hey. open-minded take from a southern gentleman such as yourself. Wow. I'm actually from Milwaukee. <laughs> so. uh, you have my vote. Yeah. Thanks. I'll write you in. <laughs> Is that your present thumbs up? <laughs> Um, because who did that? Was That's Clinton. That, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, politics. Who would you have your um? If you had to pick one vice president, a celebrity vice president. Um, I would pick, um, Shia LaBeouf. You got to pick someone no. that's different from you. Oh. You got to pick. That's He's the whole. Different from that's me. the whole point. You look at okay. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It was a strategy move. Uh, John Denzel. Krasinski. Denzel. Denzel, Denzel literally is the opposite of you, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> He's way cooler than me. He talks so cool. He does talk cool. It's amazing. Yeah. He's just born with it. Kind of like me. Yeah. Me yep. and Denzel have always been put in that category. Yeah. <laughs> Several categories. Me and him are alike, but that's one of them. Hey, we're filming the second episode in one week. Hey, -oh. That's a lot of creativity. Because we're, we're traveling. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't even know what the Chattanooga, like, wait, how does this work? How does like, time work? Think about it. <laughs> like, think about um, it. 
we're filming this not knowing what is going to happen in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yes. Yep. But when you're seeing this, <laughs> we would have already experienced it. So maybe we've, what if we died? Whoa. What if we got abducted? I'll release Stop it. Stop it. Do you want me to release it? This one? If you guys die? Yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah, we need to do a tell all podcast, like, and then have it like buried, kind of like just in case of emergency. So they have to break, like, we'll bury it and we'll have to break concrete. Oh, okay. Like, like a time, time vault. Yeah, yeah. In case anything does happen to us. We put it on VHS. Yeah. It's literally just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, we have us, no secrets. <laughs> just farting. We should make, we should make a special podcast and only sell it on VHS. That would be That'd amazing. Be that would it'd probably be super expensive now. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> like, We'd have to re reinvent, like, people, like, like, you're going to want to run these machines again. So we just invest all of our money into it. It's like, it's like two to 300 bucks for a VHS player now. And the actual like old Disney videos and stuff, that stuff's like valuable. Like if you've yeah. got good condition, old yeah. movies, you can sell them. Do you think DVDs are worthless now? Are because worthless? I'm seeing people like, cause I think at one point we're going to, what if everything drops digitally and you don't have anything to watch? Right? If it drops digitally, you probably won't have power. You think? I, don't I think know. you still have power, but maybe just not the web and your subscriptions no, like and stuff. Power. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a puzzle. That. I still look at DVDs though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a puzzle I've been trying to figure out because Josh has held on to all of the DVDs he's ever bought, mm -hmm. and That's we not should, true. We should throw them away. We have like six. No, we have like fifteen. Still, I have like I think I have like three hundred at home. Yeah. Really? I have a whole yeah, binder. Like, my parents have like a whole entire wall that is like DVDs and VHS. And I actually enjoy, I go home and I just like relive my childhood looking at all the boxes. But you said you hold on to it because during the hurricane, you got to watch all of oh, them. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. But why? Why during the hurricane? Oh, because you nope. didn't have Wi-Fi? Yeah. But what about power? We had power. Oh. Just our Wi-Fi was out for like two weeks. Mm. Yeah. Manpower. You know what I miss about like DVDs and the VHS era is watching previews before you watch a picture. Yeah. yeah. Like, I miss that. Yeah. I, I will never understand how they got a movie. You you can watch a movie because that disc is in a machine. Like, how do they get a movie onto that disc? Yeah. How do they get music onto a record player? It's like really, records. It's really, I don't understand that. It's don't really... Even. No, I'm just kidding. I have no <laughs> idea how that works. It's such a... Like, I really tried to think about the vinyls the other day. I'm like, I don't understand the science of that at all. Have you seen the photo of it? Well, the th like a v think of a VHS. It's tape. Right? Yeah, yeah, so it's literally like lights being shown through it. But how's it also producing Sound. audio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I, I guess like a cassette. Yeah. Like it, same concept, but a picture in... Sound? Yeah, how does it? Where does it get the sound inside people the VHS? Because like you guys are the dumbest. It's people probably ever. a Google where it's like it's reading a code. Light becomes a code, and the code is. Or is it the same something. technology of the record player? Is what are they touching the also? Is there the sound on the tape? As oh, well, like yeah, the record yeah, yeah, player, yeah. how the needles on the vinyl. Yeah. Interesting. All Does right. it feed through something? Because it feeds through it. So I'm wondering oh, if that's I the see sound. What you're with the light, like yeah. light passing through. Yeah. But how does that produce? I mean, if there's Perf like a if perfect there, sound, if that's there crazy. was like a code on yeah, a yeah. band or something, I'm going to disappear <laughs> from the conversation for no, like every, half an hour, and I'm going to be looking. Our VH this. is VHS. Is that alien technology? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Everyone who's just turning the podcast, like they're talking about 50 year old technology for the first 20 minutes. I remember asking you, like, how does a camera work? And you're like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Literally didn't do that. You're like, light flashes onto an image and this, that. And I'm like, that doesn't, that's not common knowledge. Dude. It blows my mind. Video cameras, everything. That was a complete guess. And it was dead accurate. Really? Audio is a separate band, typically on the edge of the tape in a VHS. So what does that mean? Well, how, the, how does it read it? Well, don't say that. <laughs> Tune me, but I'll ask me another 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it just says it's a... As a bass band in a single linear track at the upper edge of the tape, just like an audio cassette. Oh, okay, so it's just got to be like a, it's got to be like the same type of technology that a record player would have, I would imagine. Yeah. I Do you know. remember the TVs that were like computer monitors and when you got up really close to it, it was like blue, red, yeah, green? Mm -hmm. I remember looking, staring into it one time and going and thinking, oh my gosh, how does this work? Remember yeah. the big screen TVs? Like behind it was the... CMYK, mm -hmm. the lights behind it that displayed onto the screen. No. That's how it made the picture. Cyan, magenta, yellow. What's the K? Kodiak black. Kodiak. <laughs> Maybe black. I think it may. Yeah. I think so, yeah. It is black. Yes. 
Mm. Anyway, speaking of alien technology, <laughs> yes. Do you see that video of those alien ten foot creatures? Not in Miami, but in Brazil, that was actually caught on video. I yes. did see those this morning. You did? All yeah. of you saw it? No. Yeah. Oh, I, I saw not. clips of it this morning. Dude, Wild. Look at this, Lil. Hold on. You see that? <gasps> and they're just they're. I'm not going to do audio because I can't speak Portuguese. Brazilian. <laughs> but look, I mean, they're they're moving. Then like one. There's like one where it's like walking down the mountain. What do they do? The humanoid. They look really tall. Like just yeah, they look very human. I don't know if, you can, don't know if you can really see this tall. little, but like that one's like walking down the mountain, and it's like ten feet tall. Yikes! And it looks grayish or something. It's hard to tell because right? it's really far away. And all I'm asking for 2024 is a 4K resolution picture, <laughs> right? 4K resolution video, something. We didn't put out the Apple iPhone 15 so that we can continue to be filmed on potatoes. But yeah. then, you know, yeah, have you been seeing that meme circulating where it's like, if I ran into Bigfoot, I would simply take a, a 4K <laughs> resolution, high resolution photo. Here's what I would do. <laughs> but then there is one in Mexico as well. Oh, man. On this mountaintop. Look at that thing. Oh, it looks similar. Dude, that's the and thing. It's huge. There's a lot of things happening mm, simultaneously in different places all the way across the world. So that's, that's like, you can't coordinate that. Maybe you can. I don't know. Remember those, um, the obelisk thing that came, that showed up in like <gasps> this, like in Germany and Ireland and then one in Utah. Yes. Yeah. And it was all just a prank. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, it could be that. This, yeah, it could be a prank. But then I sent you and please tell me it's a prank. Andrew, those videos of those other, cause we talked about on that pod, the last podcast of that, uh, thing in LA. Yeah. And then the jellyfish, um, UFO in mm -hmm. Iraq. But then this one was in Canada. Oh, not the one I was saying. See that one? It's kind of hard to... I wonder if they zoom in. Yeah. See that? They zoom in. It looks just like the one in California. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That one's weird, dude. And then this... these A couple of them in Chicago. It's but, too small for me and Andrew. Here, let me, let me just send it to you guys real quick. Because this one's actually crazy. Yeah. Send me... Everything. Let me just Something that I just got out of what you said, though, is that you guys have a group chat without me. It's called like, Content Boys. Yeah. And it's Content Lads. Oh, Content Lads. Watch the watch this one. Have you that seen I just sent? Have you seen this one? Okay. No. I'm sending you this one. This one's also been yeah, really one, popular. There's four in this video. Again, don't know if this is real or if someone but watch how they like zoom off. You watching it? Where? No, where I it's not sent in the Ninja Clan. No, I don't have texting it. Texting or Insta? There it is. It just showed texting. up. Texting. Which one? The first one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so which one's the first one? The How one from Josh. First. The one from me. Oh, those are weird. And then watch them zoom off. Yeah. Golly, dude, those things are moving fast. <gasps> It's weird, right? Weird, weird, weird. That was yeah. like four of them. It almost looked a little fake with the movement. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. But it didn't shrink enough when it zipped off. Yeah, but I don't know. But that, yeah, it's weird <gasps> though, the way it's moving, though. Strange, man. Yeah. Um, that's we, demonic. Are we moving on to the next one? Yeah, yeah. check out the uh, other one because it was similar. It's the similar shape as the jellyfish. Yeah. And people were saying, hey, you need to check out the one that happened in um, Mexico. And it's oh, this literally this Mexico? thing flying down the road, what just like gliding. Crap. And it's changing colors. Ooh, what? It's wacky, man. And that like that's like really good footage. <laughs> it's got a shadow. That's how we're going to be able to tell. It's just like signs. Yeah. Just throw a glass of water on it. It's fine. <laughs> Dude, Swing away. What's going on? <laughs> Weird. I'm just going gonna, gonna, gonna to go buy a drone and hang little dangly prisms off it and just start flying it around your house one night. <laughs> Um, if it's if it is military stuff, we have the right to know what's flying in our airspace. I mean, I feel like we should like know like if we can see it, it's visible to the human eye. You should be able to like communicate, hey, these things, this thing's happening. If it's not, then so, it's like then identify what it is because it's U.S. airspace. I mean, come on. Here's well, here's can, my whole take we'll on that. All the other countries. Well, like if the attempt is to be unseen. And like, like, let's say the whole dark light, dark light, like that thing wasn't supposed to be pulsing. It was supposed to just be invisible. Yeah. yeah. They're like, crap, we did a test. Because I know from like friends that I had who 
did stuff in the military, they would, I'm trying to say this without getting anyone in trouble. They would infiltrate like urban areas and try to do things undetected because if you'd get busted in your, you know, in your own town and you go and try to do that, like in an actual area of combat, like you're, yeah, you know, it's like a whole different thing. So I think they run tests just to see if people notice them. They might be on TikTok going, well, yep, that didn't work. Did we talk about, um, the, the area 51 with the, remember the, the little coffins? Yeah, we have talked about that. I, it may have been on the half episode. But did I'm we talk sure. about what Dr. Michael Heiser not the, was talking no, about? Not the new one. No. So Dr. Michael Heiser, Heiser, I think. Heiser. Um, he's been on blurry a couple of times. He's passed away since then. Really brilliant, man. I was listening to one of his books. Really, really cool. Um, but he was going through like the first, the, he was talking about the Roswell incident and he said that we talked about it before, but po- uh, project paperclip was when after world war two, the U S government basically brought on all these scientists from Germany uh, the Nazis, like Nazi scientists and Japanese, because the Japanese were doing some really freaky experimenting stuff. Um, but coincidentally, the Roswell incident happened like the year after all these uh, Nazi scientists came over. And uh, what we talked about, I think we talked about in the half episode with yeah. Anthony. Yeah. But one thing that was super weird about the Roswell incident um was a um after the after the crash not what's the guy that makes coffee yeah um, mortician oh yeah yeah Yeah, it was a mortician yeah he was asked to bring two child caskets to the crash site and me and andy were like that that's weird i mean because you're thinking of like little aliens or whatever and it's like well why would why would you put them in a casket like yeah and and like burying them stuff you'd want to probably keep them for science or whatever you know like what's the point of that uh, Heiser's, he said that, uh, Dr. Michael Heiser, whatever, he said that the Nazis and the Japanese scientists would usually perform experiments and have children be like test pilots for these things. No. And like, typically it was like kids in like foster care or orphans and stuff. And so like they're untraceable. And so it would make sense with that incident of them using children in this vehicle and it crashes and they it's horrible. perish. Um, but then they're like, Oh yeah, it could have just, it's probably aliens. And they're like, well, no, there's a weather balloon. So like they mix up the story because if it came out that, cause no one knew about uh, project paperclip until right. like years and years after that. So if the U S population knew that we had Nazi scientists in the U S working with the U S killing and foster using, kids and using children for experiments game over. What you else know? did we expect from Nazis? No, nothing good dude that <laughs> roswell thing is i mean like if it is truly like there's no alien stuff and it's i mean it's miles away from the gate like the entrance and everything yeah. like that so it's we have no idea what's going on out there and if they saw something from you know german engineering that they were like oh we have to compete with this yeah you wouldn't want anyone to know yeah you do whatever you can to keep it down and you would well they have, they have like that. records of the nazis basically developing a ufo it was a bell-shaped ufo that was it like could defy gravity or had like an anti-gravity component to it. Mm -hmm. So like, and that just got me thinking like the Nazis were so obsessed with like finding, finding like ancient relics and stuff. Could they have come upon like a ancient UFO type thing, reverse engineered it, created that thing. Nazi party was diminished. They came over to the U S and that's where we started seeing all these UFOs and stuff. It was just the gravity machine from the fair. (laughs) <laughs> spinning yeah. in a warehouse <laughs> it's crazy what though, man. i don't this? know yeah that's wild man i i just want to have conversations with people from other countries as well and let us know like hey the people who watch us that don't live in america usa please let us know what you're saying is there is are we just crazy with this ufo stuff is like people other people obsessed about it are I we know, so other sightings because we we're currently ranked number two in a country i've never heard of okay <laughs> what is it um uh Martis? I'm probably really saying that wrong. M A U R I T I U S. Martis? Wait, I can't spell from verbally. Oh, M A U. Bro. And it's a tiny, tiny little island off the. I didn't know that existed. I know, off the coast of Africa. Really? Yeah. Like so far. Close to Madagascar. I've never heard of this either, but I I would venture to say it's like 
Mauritius or something. Oh, that's that sounds right. Mauritius. What did I say? Martus. <laughs> <laughs> Martus. Yeah, but ranked oh, number. Oh, beautiful. Ah. We're ranked number two in comedy and number three of all podcasts in this country. Yeah. Hey, send us out. We're coming. Do you, do you remember that guy that got soup was super famous in Africa and with music and he didn't even know it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I hope that's going to be us like 30 years from now. People like, we go to Africa and like, <laughs> ninjas are butterflies. Let's go. We're all like, we're yeah. like, you know, those like stone murals, like on broke down brick walls and stuff. They would like for yeah. hope and stuff. Yeah. Like, just like, <laughs> just our faces. like a statue of us in the town square. <laughs> it's like the Grinch, but you're like, I think that's me. <laughs> That'd be so We fun. also ranked in Iceland. Number 36. Hey, baby. Let's hey, go. Dope. Yeah. hey, speaking of that. Do you see that in this, you can see clearly through the water. It's the beautiful. Trench into the ocean oh dude yeah dude, dude you can you never just get, like imagine floating around. are you scared of we're deep swimming water? across as like teens like oh you swim across the trench the kraken's gonna go but it has a it has a you. population of like just over a million people hey, wow so, cool that's so cool man yeah Golly, so I'm, it's probably literally just like one person listening to us in that country <laughs> <laughs> i swear a lot of these small countries it's like people on like world mission trips like at an airport downloading the podcast before the next flight well there's a dude he messaged us on instagram or commented that uh he's he lives and he's from nigeria like he's a nigerian man and he says he loves the podcast wow and i'm like that's so Dope. cool i mean it's so fun what would it take for us to figure out i mean like with ai happening now it's not a it's not far of a possibility of in two years we have Ninjas of Butterflies Portuguese channel where it's like well, literally they, they just have that software. Yeah, dude. I think that's worth looking into because everyone watching this, if you would prefer this podcast in your language, comment what language oh and we'll gosh. work on it. I can't wait to hear my voice in Portuguese. <laughs> that will, dude, that's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy. I wonder how long it would take our computers to render the entire podcast and the like face transform yeah, I can't even imagine i need a whole new room for computers to pull that off did you see what's going on in ecuador no tell me it's just um gang related oh but they've shut down travel and they're shutting down like all of these stores and stuff like that because of the condition like it's, it's like kind of like uh the uh government uh war with the gangs and stuff exactly yeah so they've declared a war on whatever and yeah because there's just so much is this brutal cocaine really traveling through the country uh oh oh uh oh, no. oh and boy. so yeah there's like shootings happening everywhere it's terrible dude just, i just drink coffee people i don't know if you've yeah. seen it Bino, you know, uh channel five news on youtube yeah andrew calligan yeah uh dude i watched his documentary on kensington uh outside of philly and okay. the whole fentanyl outbreak, dude, oh. it's Ew. crazy. But there's a big conspiracy with Temple University. Like, so what it's happening is there's all of these homeless people around where they're trying to, you know, tear down and build more apartments and stuff. Right. And what they're intentionally doing, they're pushing the homeless towards these uh, other nicer neighborhoods, hoping the price goes down. Wow. Then they buy it out and they push everyone. And so they oh, build more no. apartments for the, but he breaks it down, dude. It's a whole hour long thing. And no joke, there's this thing called tr uh, Trank. It's literally horse tranquilizer. Oh, yeah. Jeez. And dude, they call it the zombie drug. It's nuts, man. Yeah. There's, it literally causes uh, the flesh eating disease. Oh. People yeah. have holes, losing limbs. The people are tearing off their own limbs in the streets. This guy's got this huge arm that big. And then all this, and Andrew literally got invited into the home of where they make it. Ew, the dude, like, that's crazy. I mean, he's interviewing these guys and they're saying, yeah, this is how easy it is for me to get these people hooked. This is what I do. The guy's completely strapped. And it's like, dude, you're, this is up. real journalism. Like he's, it was He's scary, an amazing dude. independent journalist. He's one of the best. Yeah. And it's like the fact that that's not like highlighted on 60 minutes or something. Yeah. It's like, this is a I big love, problem. I love how he started off just making funny videos of like going to like these just like trolling rallies people. and stuff. Yeah. But like, is that the... um. Oh, Gas No Breaks guy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that guy. But he's yeah. got a whole team now that's really putting stuff together. And it the whole hour, it's a documentary. And it's You'll so watch it. stinking wow. good. He is an amazing, he needs to win an award. Yeah. yeah. That's the type of people we need to highlight. Like You that's should just watch like, the interview that he's on on CNN. I think it's CNN. And okay. he made some reference of like how like both political sides, Republican and Democrats, they like have like corruption within them. And like CNN, they're like getting on to him. Yeah. Like, don't say that. Yeah, that's not true. That's not true at all. And he's just like, that's not just from <laughs> okay. He's I thought we were Dude. in reality right yeah. now. I mean, it's impressive. You have just like this or guy. It was, like, it was. Oh no, it was. Um, 
forcing a narrative how news yeah. stations force a narrative and he's like oh. like fox and you guys yeah. and like and they were just like <laughs> no we give facts yeah, yeah. Like, okay. okay yeah okay and no one, no one gives facts anymore except that, i except for ninjas are yeah. except for ninjas or butterflies <laughs> absolutely 100 percent factual we give 100 percent real facts Probably fifty percent of the time. <laughs> well, you made fun of my comment when I said on the. Uh, oh, what were we talking about? Uh, I forget, but you said was, there's a hundred percent probability to that. I said uh, there's a hundred percent, dude. That's a probable. That's probably happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a real thing. Just throwing percentages around. <laughs> oh, but speaking of independent journalists, have you guys heard that thing about the night vision goggles? No. In Vietnam. I heard the color. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Explain no, this, this to me. This is weird, dude. So, you know, night vision now, it's green. Yep. You know. Yay. But in the <laughs> Vietnam War, the night vision goggles that they were issued were red light. Okay. And, um, like, multiple people in the U.S. military that were using them were seeing what they were reporting as flying demons. Ooh, stop. And so there's an instance where they're Ooh. they're flying these helicopters in Vietnam. It was a safe safe zone, no hostility. And then the gunner in the back just started do 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 shooting and the pilot's like, What are you shooting at? And all the hel- other helicopters are like, What and they start shooting. They all and saw this, the same thing? This guy, he was like panicked and he's like sweating and like his it looked like he was like yeah. seeing a demon. Yeah. And they're like, What are you shooting at? And he's like, The demon. And it's like this Apparently, this giant winged demon creature was like flying at him, and then people on the ground in the jungles that were using it, they were also seeing like these demonic-looking, freaky-looking creatures, and so the military banned those night vision goggles. What? And they replaced them with green light. And it's like, okay, if the military and like apparently a lot of these dudes were, um, what do you call it, uh, um, discharged. But Honorably. PTSD, yeah, honorable discharge yeah. for PTSD because they were they were shook to the yeah, core I of everything mean, that they saw with these goggles on, shell shocked. Yeah. Yep. So now I have a question: Did the bullets work? That was I my thought. It was just up. prayer. Yeah, I don't for know my, for my peace of mind. <laughs> well, I've looked into it a little bit because uh, I heard the same thing. But what they argued against it is that they were putting stuff inside the chemicals in the goggles that were like oh, the chemical tripping. was literally leaking. And so they were literally tripping oh, or having some type of uh, like, it was a hallucinogenic drug. And that's what Jacob ladders is all about. The movie is mm. about, there was literally Vietnam, um, Vietnam veterans being tested in wartime mm. unbeknownst to them. And so they would deal with all these things. They'd come home and they'd see things and they'd get paranoid. And then, Whoa. and then that actually get confronted by the FBI. So it's like, they are paranoid, but it's, it's dude, it's a wacky thing, man. Dude, our Vietnam veterans were done so dirty, man. What is the thing that someone said? <clears throat> this one guy, I saw him on TikTok. He was like struggling with something. And this guy came over and like helped him with it. And the guy's like, Oh my gosh, he's like, can I repay you or whatever? And he's like, don't, he's like, I don't want any money or whatever. But what you can say is anytime you meet someone, a veteran from Vietnam, just say welcome home because the U.S. government did not have a welcome home parade for the troops that came back from Vietnam. Yeah. Jeez. Like, that stinks, really? Stinks, dude. Yeah. I mean, there was like, I ri- didn't know that. There was because like riots we lost against the. You know, who cares, though? I, it's, I mean, it. like, yeah. on the behalf of all of our country, they. Oh, man, that's think a about Think about the contention. So, like, we, we ultimately lost the war, but then also there was so much protesting against the war period. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah. it was a country divided and yeah. like, that just stinks. So we couldn't man. just celebrate, but they won't, what we'll we never had. say that we lost the war. We just withdrew from it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like, mm. that's, what, <laughs> that's what the person says. It's like, I don't want to play anymore. I don't feel like it. It's like, yeah, well, yeah. then you well, lose. Well, you know, <laughs> cause I quit. <laughs> that's a sore loser. If I I'm, ever met one. I'm up by 10 points, bud. <laughs> you can't just go home now. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys see a Vietnam veteran, and he's say, say welcome home. Thank yeah, them Vietnam, for yeah. their service. Yeah. Dude, this is a short story, but one of my friends who, older guy, was at one of the first churches I worked at. Liter- he was a helicopter pilot. Literally made it back with like over 150 bullet holes through his helicopter on a rescue mission. Oh my gosh. Like came Dang. back to tell a story. And he was like, he, he's like, I guess God was looking out for me because somehow, you know, I don't think anyone in his flight got hit, but bull, bullet holes just ripping wow. through that helicopter. Wow. What we need to do is get Clarissa's dad on because yes. he was he Bradford. He fought in Iraq. He was a Black Hawk 
uh, pilot. Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah. And she still flies I think, helicopters. Yeah, I think she said that he has some what? crazy stories. Oh, of yeah. Like, well, didn't he have some connection to something? One of our yeah, stories? Yeah, he was, he was one of the oh. people that helped Danny Philippidus. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that ended we up talking about that, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, maybe. We haven't talked about the connection uh, yeah, with Bradford. I don't think so. And he was oh. miffed about it because <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah, this so guy's crazy, obviously. You guys watching, I don't know what episode it was, but we talked about this guy's name was Danny Philippidus who disappeared in. Um, like Colorado, New, right? New York, I think okay. it was. Or yeah, Vermont. East Coast, East Coast. And yeah, then, it was in yeah. New York. Um, that makes sense. They lived in New York. And then um, he's from Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Bradford, Bradford lived in Canada, New um, York. <laughs> but then reappeared in California seven days later, and there's this whole conspiracy of, like, how did he get there? Because he was, like, dressed the same. He had a haircut and a new phone or something. Was like it yeah. aliens? What Did he get probed? What happened? But it turns yeah. out Bradford, Clarissa's dad, was on the rescue mission yep. at that... Um, uh, ski resort or whatever. Yeah, and he's like, no, he didn't disappear. He's like, he was cheating on his wife, <laughs> and he like came yeah. up with a this weird story to cover up his cheating scandal. Yeah, what? that's it. yeah. And Clarissa like was because he he listens to the pod on and off, I guess. But um, she was telling him about how we talked about it, and he was like, that's not worth talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so many people that probably do that. They, they've heard this story that yeah. we're telling for the very first, like we've heard it for the first time, and they're like, oh come on, you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. This is even worth it. You got yeah. you need to follow up. Yeah. What branch of the military was he? Air Force. Uh, oh, he? I don't know. He flies helicopters. I think he's just there's army. I think it was army. Army. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, but we should have him on. He's just a character in he's, himself. He, I love Bradford. He's so <laughs> fun. Um, but speaking of military. Really? Yeah. We gotta not go anywhere. Flabbergaster Bocopo. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe I just said that either. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> We're saying a ton of fun things. Hey, guys, if you go to SundayCoolSwag.com, you can get our new merch, our new... We can't actually say his name, but you can say... What's his name? Steamboat Willie. We have a Steamboat Willie shirt now because it's public domain. But Disney, if we did something wrong with it, please don't come after us. Because we're super nice and we're super sorry if we did. Yes, but go to SundayCoolSwag.com where we have that shirt and like really other cool stuff. Really other cool stuff? Yeah. Really other cool stuff. Yeah, yeah like hats like this. Well, you don't have this one. Out. It's out of stock. Hats like that, hats though. Hats like this. Yes. Really cool stuff. Uh, hoodies. We have uh, so much stuff on there, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he did that. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> I thought you guys were supposed to say shocking stuff back and forth. No, you were supposed to do something that made us laugh. Oh. I thought that was <laughs> that after was the. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Do it. Look who's protecting her eyes now. Protecting. I like protecting. It. Remember how he looked at me? Because it's dangerous. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have it. <laughs> that was Hold a spot on was Josh that? impression. That was good. <laughs> um, wasn't that fun? Yeah. Dude, I... Couldn't believe it, man. When you said that one thing, I was like, what? And then it's kind of controversial. You said that one thing, I'm like, wait a second. Yeah, that was like. And then oh. when Andrew did that one thing, <laughs> we all laughed. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. Um, yeah, but uh, you know what time it is. <gasps> question, question, corner, question, question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. Whether the questions are fresh, shut on mine. I might condense my list. Oh. Mm. We're all just, yeah, we'll see how you guys react. Okay. You have the opportunity to resurrect one of these Floridian landmarks. Which are you choosing? Okay. Wet and wild. They don't They don't know that. They don't know wet and wild. Oh. Hey, yeah, just list them off and we'll. River country. Nice. Boston market. <laughs> Disney quest. Oh. Dueling Dragons at Universal or malls as we once knew them. We still have malls, but they're not as cool as they used to be. 
already know my answer. Yeah, Disney same. Disney Quest for sure. Okay, explain to me, like, run it down. There are several things that I have no idea. Wet and Wild is a water park, I'm assuming? Yeah, it was a water yes. park. Okay. It was the trashiest water park. Really? It was so fun. <laughs> it was so what made fun. it fun? Was it, like, just no rules, like, no, just I mean, crazy stuff? It was just, it was just dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, you go... And like towards the end where they're just like so desperate to have people, you get like buy a ticket for a day for like 13 bucks. Oh my goodness. Like Dang. doing a deal this month, buy one ticket for $13 and you can come back anytime during the year. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an annual pass. <laughs> We're like, yeah, dude. What? It's probably more than 13 bucks. It's probably like 20 something bucks. Still but, though, dude, yeah. everything's so expensive now when it comes to theme parks. Okay. Yeah. So wet and wild was that. Mm -hmm. What was the other ones? River country was the one that got shut down. That was a Disney park, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Boston Anything Market. special about that? The I don't. Country? I don't know. I okay. never went. Boston Market never been. Down. Really? Never been to Boston Market. Disney Quest. Not good. Dis what, what is Disney? What Quest? is that? That was. That's where um, uh, Springs. Disney Springs is now. I heard it used to be called Disney Downtown as well. Downtown, Downtown Disney. Disney. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Disney Quest though was the coolest thing. It was like five stories, six stories tall. Yeah, it was like an indoor. And it was just all like games and like fun interaction really? stuff dude. arcade video games so on top fun. of everything already there yeah right golly that's and you can cool have your birthday party there if you were it, like made out of money yeah. yeah and then malls but old school like old like school malls and Classic. dueling dragons at universal you guys oh, i've never done that i don't know what that they is didn't do that either that's the hagrid yeah. ride now it's a hagrid ride now but it used oh, to yeah. be it was two different coasters the red one and the blue one and back in the day rumor has it red versus blue they would go red versus blue, and they would go at the same time. But then people would try to high five each other because <gasps> you could, and people were losing limbs and stuff. Oh my goodness! So that's, they timed it that's differently. The rumor. That's a rumor. That's that is the wild. Floridian yeah. myth. I still think there's no way if I put my hands all the way up, I'm not hitting something on Space Mountain, dude. I was or like yeah. or like on the new Guardians someone, ride. Did someone is, lose their head like in Disney on Space Mountain? Yeah, they stood up though. They were standing. Why <laughs> don't stand? <laughs> <laughs> that's their fault. You yeah. know what? I want off this ride. <laughs> I think I would choose malls because obviously I don't have any nostalgic for any of the other ones, but malls in the nineties, yeah, like growing up dumb. as a kid, yeah. dude, even early two thousands. Yeah. yeah. In dude, holidays during in malls. Oh my God. Christmas time in a mall was just so different. Like we went trick or treating at malls sometimes whenever we traveled, like you would go from store to store and they would have buckets and stuff. And it was such a cool thing. Kids won't even know today of yeah. like, no. you, you would literally just like go hang out at the mall I all know. day. Like, yeah. in my, there was like, music. It was vibing. I remember yeah. getting my license and being like, I've got a job. I've got a couple hundred bucks. I'm going to go to the mall and just see who's hanging out at the food court. You would always see somebody. Yep. yep. Oh, man. Yeah, what you malls. didn't put on that list, which I think should be brought back to Florida, is the Van Skate Park. I don't know what that is. Whoa. It was at was the, that the mall, Festival right? Mall. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that was the coolest. Was it actually park. branded van? Yeah, it was Whoa. Van Skate Park. Fun, fun story Holy about that. We were on a youth trip. We were doing something driving through the area, and we went to that mall, and I brought my skateboard, and the youth pastor was like, that's the only place you're allowed to skate on this trip. And I pulled up, and there was like some pro demo going on, and I literally like just put my board back in the, <laughs> in the bus. I was so intimidated by how good everyone at that park was skating. Dude, it was the coolest. Yeah. That's awesome. So what would you choose? Disney Quest. Disney Quest. I wish I could experience that. Arcades as a kid is le like it's. I'll show you. I'll level. show you pictures S and videos of it later. Yeah, but it was it was so fun. Yeah, growing up as a Floridian, I know I've said this before, but we would especially like in Central Florida. My mom sometimes on the weekends when we didn't have annual passes would just take us resort hopping and we would go swimming in all the pools and right on the monorail and stuff. Jeez. It was so much fun. Now you can't do that. So you didn't answer the question. Oh, I. <laughs> I never experienced River Country, but the way my mom talks about it, it, it must have been Mecca. Yeah. So probably that. They yeah, because you could they swim there, right? Yeah, it was a water park, but it was um, it was fueled by the lake. Yeah. That's crazy. What, what <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy that they passed that. Like, it's wild. What was the, uh, it, it wasn't for kids. It's not like an adult thing, but it was like no kids allowed. It was just like maybe restaurants and bars and like some attractions. Oh, Pleasure Island? That one. That was at Disney? Yeah, I was in Disney Springs. And they called it Pleasure Island? I think, well, and- <laughs> I thought it's Pinocchio, or right? Or yeah. Treasure Island. Or, okay, so something that we've not yet explored in our annual pass era is that the Disney Yacht Club, there's a boardwalk for adults. Oh. Where's the Disney Yacht Club? It's on Disney property. Really? Yep. Okay. Okay. I've seen, I've seen a video have, of a guy who snuck to that island and like explored everywhere. And I was like, I really wish I could have seen that in its heyday. Mm. 
So what you would you, you mall? Yeah, still a mall. <laughs> yep. Uh, what a minute. Yep. I like I like outside malls, but they're just not the same. No. I mean, I always thought it was cool, like I'm just an open air shopping centers, but it's like it in, just doesn't. In Florida, feel the it's same. just like. <gasps> you see how they're turning some old malls into dorms? What? Yeah, dude, it is so smart and so cool. They're That's literally smart. turning like just. You have just fellowship area in the like the main parts, but then literally all the room, uh, all those are dorms and rooms and uh, offices or whatever. I'm like, that's actually extremely smart. They're doing the, the same thing it, yeah, with baseball stadiums. The mall in my oh, I saw the apartment complexes. One. That's yeah. crazy. But my hometown, that's what they've done with the mall because it's yeah. military community. There's surrounded by water, so you can't expand. And they took over an old mall, but there's like churches, like literally restaurants. It like saved the food court because now like. Imagine having oh, a yeah, food you, court downstairs yeah, from your apartment. Changer. Dude, yeah. and if living in a mall? Yeah. And if it's, Can we do it? No. <laughs> if it were open the whole time, too, like you yeah. only had like certain sections that you had to have like a college pass to get into. Yeah. So the public could come in and eat still at the food court, hang out with college kids and stuff like that. Dude, that would be Fun. a good idea. That city cool. planner deserves an award. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's find out who he is. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give us a song. All right. It's so quiet. I hate I know. it. I know. I'm literally. We could have just turned the so, the music on out there just did for we, next time. Can we already do Green Day? Yeah. Is someone just picking up all my papers and putting them back in the cup? Possibly. You need to be is, throwing them away instead of just you? throwing the trash. <laughs> the Bee Gees. More than a woman. Or, what song do they have? They uh, uh, you can tell by the way. I, well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. Andrew has a real. I'm gonna be and it's time to talk. When I follow me the phone. Watch the video. Have fun. All right. It's okay. We don't know if it'll be great, but we'll have fun. We'll watch it. Andrew has a reel right now. Andrew has a reel. Andrew has a reel. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> that last part, I was like, I think I'm going to say Andrew has a reel at very end, and then you just picked up perfect. So I'll cut, I'll cut out a, a bunch of this, but go ahead and watch this. And then uh, Instagram. Yeah. Or, Instagram. Okay. Corey sent this to me. Right. Hold ready? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Click it. I'm taking DNA from one of my pet spiders and splicing it together. I'm already halfway through. You guys snooze, you'll lose. What, you didn't click one? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Ew! Hatched. They were some of the craziest creatures I've ever seen. Sounds like Corey Romeiser. It does. First spider pillar. What? Oh! <gasps> that seems like you shouldn't make that. Like legs. I don't. I don't Ew. know if this is what God intended. I've made about a thousand of them and let many of them go into the wild. Why would what? you do that? Oh no! Dude. Into the wild? You should, should not be doing things. that. You're not allowed to do that. You should not be doing that. What's that Steve Buscemi quote? It's saying like he's like, "Do you think God stays in heaven because he too has feared what he's created?" <laughs> <laughs> It's like that's why. It's like that's crazy, dude. Yo, you don't create that. Speaking of bugs, though, do you know how figs oh exist? Oh my gosh! You know, like fig trees. Mm. No. I okay, so know. figs. It's like I think one of the only fruits that are, they grow year round. There's no like season for them. But Lily put me on this. It was from the Planet Earth, I think. Um, David Attenborough. Yes, dude. I don't know if you'll ever eat a fig again. I don't already, so. Okay. I, I will but, say uh, it's only one specific species of fig tree I discovered. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. I was going to say fig. That's not fun. It's fig all Newton. of them. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Fig, fig Newton <laughs> slap. Okay, so fig trees. What happens is there's this thing called a fig wasp. It's okay. a very tiny little bug. Got it. And it's uh, uh, the female has these wings, and they fly to the fig, and there's only like one day f per fig to where – this wasp goes into right so it crawls buries itself into the middle of this fig mm -hmm. and then lays hundreds of eggs okay and then as it's laying it's um pollinating the fig flowers within the fig to make it ripe that's okay. how figs get ripe uh -huh. and then these eggs the the males are hatched first and this is where it gets really weird the males go over to the female eggs that are, have not been hatched yet and um, reproduce reproduce by, you know, nature, yeah. the, bir the birds and the bees. Hey, it's beautiful. 
the male fig wasp and the female fig wasp, you know? Yep. Um, and they love each other very much. And then the female fig wasps are born already impregnated. And then the male fig wasp, they crawl out of the fig and they act as, um, what, what word did he use? Um, they basically sacrifice themselves. So they, they crawl out because there's ants waiting for these fig wasps to exit. Yeah. yeah. And the male fig, fig wasps don't have wings. So they exit and they get eaten by the ants while the females can get out and fly away, they instantly fly to another fig because they only have 48 hours to live. And they give birth. And, and then they go. they go into a fig, and that happens year-round. So they're just constantly doing this to figs, and that's what makes the fig ripe. Without the fig wasp, these figs would not get ripe, and they would be unedible. And so that's their only purpose in life. Yes. That's crazy. Isn't dude. nature crazy, though, because it's not like their mom is like, this is how we live. This is what you have to do in the next 48 hours. You have 48 hours. Go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like they just the know. Plan. They just know. It Everyone is watch this training video. Know. Yeah. My favorite comment on the video is born pregnant from <laughs> insect cyst. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite comment from that was like, I don't like figs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Chivalry's not dead. That guy really laid his life down for the girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's their w- only what a, purpose. Dude, dude, what a simp, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Those pigs are a simp. <laughs> yeah, dude. That I'll show you the video later. Maybe we'll play it while we're I've n- talking about it. The I've, top comment is a lot to unpack here. <laughs> <laughs> it's how it, I don't get it with like Planet Earth stuff. How do they get that video footage? I, how, Literally, what? they're dude. filming inside of a fig. Yeah, I think they build artif- artificial ones or they bring them into labs because there's this one with like this mouse in the night running from like oh, the snake. Yeah. And I'm like. You, this has to be like in a controlled environment. There's no way you had this at night. Like there's, I, I, but then you would question the ethics of it. So you you have a set a set that you're filming on, and yeah. you let a mouse a mouse go and a snake go to watch the mouse die. Yeah, I mean basically, I mean like it's so life feeding, though feeding but. a snake. <laughs> <laughs> but it's alive. I feel like upset. with a snake, you usually freeze. You feed them a frozen mouse. Do you? No, a lot of time they. I mean snake. Yeah, you know, snake owners. I know a couple. <laughs> And uh, not that I am one, I promise. You were, were uh, you? Not a snake, no. I do hold snakes. You did rats. I do love snakes. Oh, yeah, you. I did rats. You did rat. um, had pet rats. But did yeah, you know you, that, you Andrew? Oh. Yeah. Dude, that was our first pet. We we lived in an apartment. We couldn't get any pets. And so uh, we went to PetSmart and stuff. Oh, we're trying to figure it I'm out. not a hamster or something. Stop it. You're thinking rats. You're looking at Subway, gray, uh, ugly rats. These things yeah, were those are rats. white. And they clean themselves just like cats do. That's and they were awesome. And, and Ratatou- I just edited dude, a podcast sat where on you my went- shoulder while I cooked like Ratatouille. <laughs> How is that not cool, dude? You just roasted cats in the previous podcast, and now you're saying your rats okay because it's like I'm a cat. not saying they they say they clean themselves like cats. Cats are terrible, but they at least clean themselves. True, which is a nice thing. Dogs don't do that. He sat on your shoulder. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> was my emotional support rat. Okay, his name was Gertie, short for Gertrude. Nice. Her, you I had guess. a. You had a guinea pig named Gertrude. Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, that was the Sunday Cool campaign. Like in the that early was days. Gertrude. Yeah, her name is Gertrude. I did. Kelsey is going to freak out because she wanted to name our kid Gertrude. I oh said, gosh. "No." <laughs> After the rat, we will name it the. We will rat name the rat. If you're watching <laughs> it, your Gertrude. name is Gertrude. Sorry. Hey, yeah. love you, Gertie. Hey, but. didn't didn't Gertrude the guinea pig give birth? Yeah, we didn't know Gertrude was pregnant, <laughs> and we walked in one day and there's like five other guinea pigs really yeah nice see there's a thing with hamsters where they freeze up and apparently like they do like do t- tiny hibernation and people will throw away their hamsters thinking they're dead when in reality they were just hibernating and so like when people realize that like they actually get cold their heartbeats like slow to an almost undetectable level oh, but they're hamsters. still alive and so like that's the thing it's like all these people are like wait a minute <laughs> did i throw away my favorite childhood pet <gasps> yeah Bro, uh, but speaking of guinea pigs and hamsters slowing their heart rate down, mm-hmm. do you know the James Webb uh, Telescope has picked up on potential life outside of our solar system? Oh my gosh. Potential life? Potential life. Because, so NASA announced a potential signature of extraterrestrial life uh, in the atmosphere of a planet that is 120 light years away. So the James Webb Telescope, they were, that they, has apparently way more technology than I, I thought of. Like they can pick up on um, like molecules in space. And so there's a certain molecule called dimethyl sulfide. 
And that molecule is only produced by living organisms on Earth. And they picked up this molecule from a planet that's 120 light years away. Wow. And they basically said, like, we don't want, no one jumped to conclusions yet that it's aliens because we're going to do some more research, but we'll announce our research throughout the year yeah. and stuff. But a chemical that only exists with humans, with inside humans. Or living organisms. Weird. That exists on planet Earth. What's Nowhere else in space. Yeah. What's a chemical? I, I said it. Dimethyl oh. sulfide. I mean, are we out of that? I mean, there could be just like animal life or creature life in other or parts even, of space, right? Yeah, like, I, I mean, like, know. I think I don't think we've ever really just talked about that. Like, why what? couldn't there just be like slugs on Mars or something? What, what was the right? Uh, it was, um, I don't know what. There was a planet. Was it? It wasn't sad. What's the one that's like has a frozen ocean of um, um. What what is it? Carbon not um what's what's CO two? Carbon dioxide. Carbon carbon dioxide. I think there's like a frozen layer, like a frozen ocean of a chemical I forget. What's that clicking? It's it's this thing clicking. Oh. It started look at this dude. It just leaked a bunch of like grease but out the I, door. I saw this thing. Is it Venus or is it Uranus Maybe. and Neptune are filled with icy materials like water, ammonia, and methane. That's it. I okay. was going to say that, but I got roasted last time I said it. But I saw this one thing where they they think that these giant sea-like creatures are living under the ice in these oceans on these planets. Dude, that'd be wild. That would be See, that's a what barrier I'm... layer. Like, we have our atmosphere that yeah. protects us. That layer of ice could be protecting something underneath. Like, what if God was just like, I want to see what this sea creature will do on this planet before I put it on Earth. So they, like, <laughs> it's just testing. It's like, it's like a test. It's a little test but, facility. Ah! But like, yeah. think about it. If stuff is existing underneath the ice on this other planet, right, there's some sort of creation. We still believe God created the cosmos, right? So there's this creation that exists out there. Who's to say that Antarctica or our ice caps aren't holding underneath them those same type of they species? They are. Well, not I don't, I don't know about those species, right. but they uh, recent, fairly recently, they dug, they found a lake under the ice in Antarctica, mm -hmm. and they drilled, dude, it was like eight miles or something, it's something crazy, like into this ice, pulled it out, and stuck this camera down there, and found these like crazy looking like creature things down there that were like fish like, but like not yeah. something that we've never seen on Earth. But they're like they're living under the ice in Antarctica. Yeah, it's like, how can they do that? Yeah, that so scary. Living under or frozen under? No, living. Ooh, Li living live and well. That's wild to me. Yeah, <laughs> there because like that's I guess I've never thought about that. Like even just l like other human like animal life or something on another planet would be dope. Just to find out that. Yeah, even insects or something. So there's got to be. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, it, I don't would know. Would you would you say dope? Yo, that's dope. Yo, look at that. Dope. I would be haunted by it. I'm haunted by this Antarctica news. Uh, yeah. Look, look and see if you can find a picture of like what they found under the ice. The creature. It's it's the weirdest. It's like almost like a centipede looking thing. If what I are remember their habits? right. What, what do they eat? Um, humans. <laughs> Did you see that feather like squid thing that was flying through like the ocean that they got? Um, oh remember. yeah, it's like a it basketball like a starfish, I think. Yeah, the, those things are nuts. Um, but yeah, oh, not know. this. But that's a basketball starfish. Ew! What the <laughs> dude? That looks like it. Would it looks like the thing that brain. That thing that he uh, showed us on that crawls oh, on his yeah. arm. But it's dude. It's so scary. Dude, that looks like the Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it does yeah. Please don't put it on land. Throw it back. Um, I'm horrified. Can't find it. I mean, I found some stuff, but I don't know if it's what you're talking about. There's a. Uh, this weird blob thing. No, I'll I'll find it and we'll show a picture while I was talking about it. Yeah, that um, one. What? That weird? <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, it's like this weird feathery, like it almost that looks like an, uh, a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that, mm, also, I don't know. They're saying that's also under Antarctica, and then this like jelly looking octopus thing. yeah yeah that's it i'm gonna hold it right here 
so I don't have to download a photo and do all this stuff. Is it prejudiced? Could just take that? a screenshot. Yeah, you could just take a <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> a screen what? Impossible. Um, speaking of continuing the conversation of aliens, I heard this story today. Uh huh. Don't know if it's factual, but I'm going to say it anyways. I believe it is. It's about Jimmy Carter. Okay. Um, when he was elected president, he was. One of his big things was like the full disclosure on UFOs that the CIA and FBI are keeping from the public. So in 1977, after he was elected, um, he was at a briefing where they gave him the documents of the UFO disclosures and stuff. And it said that he was so upset <gasps> that he put his hands or his head, his face in his hands and started to weep. Oh, my gosh. And they said that he was visibly unwell for weeks after that and then proceeded to fully backtrack on his whole being transparent about the disclosure. So so they're like, this will shut him up. Yeah. Like, let's, you're not going like, to want to talk like, You want to be this. transparent? Look at that. Yeah. You think the Americans are ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's And scary. all it says is we are the aliens. <laughs> gosh, could you imagine? We <sighs> control you. Um. But that was in the seventies, dude. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's but they were they were doing so many stuff back, so much stuff back then, dude. Like so much stuff, dude. It's what could it? I mean, you could go down the rabbit trail forever of like what that what he saw or like, I don't know, man. That's the person us. I would want to talk to on death row, <gasps> Jimmy. What did you read? Listen, Jimmy. He's still alive. It was just like a, it was a script of like roasting Jimmy Carter. <laughs> it's you're, like, you're a baby. Jimmy Carter, you're so dumb. <laughs> He's we, like, <laughs> we don't like you. I was telling Josh when I think, have you seen the SpongeBob movie where he's like stubby little hands? He's like talking to Plankton and all this doing his looking at his hands. Uh, you guys don't that, get my SpongeBob references. That I saw uh, one of the no. deepest conspiracy uh, that Joe's ever said. Like he's like he doesn't believe it, but Joe Rogan said the fact that Earth is a farm for humans. Ew. Well, that's that goes back like to that. the the Anunnaki thing. Yeah, yeah, they believe that. The Sumerians believed that the Anunnaki came here and basically sped up the process of our evolution so that they could basically harvest us. And have souls. And, yeah. And one of the things was like the Anunnaki, they come from this planet. I forget what it's called. But their atmosphere was starting to burn up, kind of like they're talking about climate change here. And the only thing that they could do is put gold dust particles into the atmosphere to basically shield the sun mm -hmm. so they came to earth which earth is rich in gold and that's why people the conspiracy is that um that's why gold is so valuable is because the anunnaki first wanted the gold because and they created humans to harvest the gold to where they could take it back to their planet and do that not true none of that's true yeah but could be it makes you wonder of like <laughs> it looks like you're about to cry no, <laughs> that's, just, a, like, that's just a weird. Oh, it's super weird, but it makes you wonder of like, um, could there be parts of that? Because this is what they really believed in, of the Anunnaki and stuff and their purpose and like creating slaves out of men and yeah. stuff. Like, could there be aspects of that of like fallen angels? Yeah, yeah. Like, abducting know? women or abducting, yeah. Yeah. And like the Nephilim race were basically the kings of the old world and made humans basically their slaves and yeah stuff like that. That part of it is not hard for me to wrap my brain around. What is, is the value of gold? Yeah. Because it's like, okay, but it does make you wonder why is gold so valuable? I was literally because about to ask shiny that. and in the ground. Is There's it just because it's rare? Stuff. It's yeah. just rare, right? Yeah. It's, it's not that it's rare. It's human nature to find a form of currency, like to trade yeah. things, you know, and like what is a value? And then you find something shiny. And but how do we get from, something that looks nice to be able to trade with somebody like yeah. food make it currency yeah like how, that's that's what i was literally like, about how do to we make currency what is it has to be something somewhat rare but a attainable right like so but what, i don't know but you're literally literally just trading but you things. think back in the day like you want to trade something that can actually benefit you not something yeah, that like on a primitive level everything we do is motivated by procreation Ergo, pretty shiny things become a symbol of that. All right, but Freud. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I did see a clip of um, when everyone was, uh, they were selling the bells, like before the war, like they took and removed all the bells and stuff from yeah. the churches and lined them all out. And someone said the healing frequency. They're trying to remove I saw it. that. But then other people were like, no, they're melting it down for the war. Like, yeah. They're great <laughs> things. I was like, oh yeah, never mind. That's a logical explanation. Yeah, they were like taking like fences out. For me, I think it, to answer your original question, it's because wealth has changed. Like what the vision of wealth. So like before then it was like, Oh, I'm, I'm bountiful in resources. Like I have food, I have water and all this stuff. But now it's people don't have that need. Or I know. Desire. I'm just thinking like, what was the first time someone made that switch? Yeah, of I like, it's like, I'm really hungry. And can I buy a sack of potatoes from you? And they're like, yeah, what can you give me? Uh, this, this rough. I got a shiny. It's like, <laughs> I got a nice tiny walk right here. And he's like, <laughs> instead of the guy being like, what am I going to do with that? He's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he's you like, take it. whatever you want. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. I guess maybe if there's other values, I mean, other things they could make out of it or something, but. Well, I mean, they can make like tools and like uh, jewelry and stuff yeah. out of gold. So I guess that makes sense. So it's somewhat rare and also not rare, I guess, but just not found. It's a material on, that you can use. Yeah. The it's craziest versatile. currency in history to me is that people got paychecks and salt. That is weird. Yeah. Like, really? Just, yeah. Like he's not worth his salt. It means like he's not worth his paycheck, but they were literally, it was a preservative. Yeah. And so like that was its value. Well, ancient Egyptians, the workers and stuff, they were paid in beer. Really? Yeah. That because sounds about right. Because it was, it was uh, easier and cheaper than bread because bread could go bad quick. And, but uh, they basically made like a yeast. Carb content. Yeah. And so like they would drink beer to filled their bellies and like it was the nutritional thing instead of bread in ireland they don't even breathe air it's just beer it's just <laughs> just guinness it's just beer those irish guys i've got it. guinness run through me veins <laughs> that's jason momoa's diet oh yeah didn't know that and he quits eating carbs and just drinks beer yeah whenever he's cutting because um, exercising isn't worth anything guys so why not yeah yeah so if you i want to look like jason momoa just drink beer that's I want to go sense. hear that kids. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go down the further into researching the, we've talked about it a couple of times briefly, but the Tartarian empire. Okay. The conspiracy around that of like, it was this, um, basically empire that is now in modern day Russia, to, but they had just advanced technology, all this stuff. And then one day it just basically disappeared and like, there's no trace of it, whatever, except like there's like a map here, like old map that says Tartaria yeah. and stuff like that. So but is it kind of more of a myth or is it legitimate? Like there's, that's what I don't, I, there was a civilization there. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're passing it off as like that never existed. Yeah. But then other people were like, well, no. there's proof here, here and here. And one of the things was I apparently, I don't, again, credibility, don't listen to anything I'm saying, but the flag of Tartaria was a dragon. Mm -hmm. And then, when the Russian monarchy took over and like defeated Tartaria in a battle or whatever, their flag is like two eagles back to back, right? Which we talked about eagles last yeah. podcast. But in the middle of it is a man on a horse crushing a dragon. And it's so like, yeah, it's a symbolism for yeah, like yeah. we took over Press. Tartaria. Yeah, crazy, nice. It's weird, right, dude? That's. Oh man, that's that's it. There's so much stuff. There's like, and that's the thing they could have shown Jimmy Carter. They could have shown like, you want to know where we really came from, or like how like this, you know, how the United States really came to power. And it's like, here's some redheaded giants for you. Yeah, yeah, like it's like whatever. Who could you know? It could be anything. We have no idea what's in the past. But what devastating news to make him weep? Yeah, like Dude. literally weep. What like that's the thing. What would it take for you? Like have something that's not even related to your family, your friends, your livelihood, but just like news shown to you. I guess just so, everything's fake. I don't know. Yeah, oh, man. Or I like the aliens are among us, and yeah. Or like, hey, like this, like hey, remember when this happened in history? This is actually what happened. So it's like, oh wow, and so like just like I don't yeah. know whether it's. But that when we talked about uh, two weeks ago, the Mandel effect being a like um, excuse me, <laughs> a. Uh, experiment if you will of like seeing how easily they could erase history like have they how how long have they been doing that yeah because it would have been a lot easier back in the day would have yeah. been and so much easier that's the conspiracy of the tartarians is that like if you get caught with a map of tartaria or whatever you'd yeah. be killed everyone would go burn their yeah map. yeah 
True. But they like it gets like really weird the conspiracy of like because they talked about it, there was a mud flood, right? That's part of the Tartarian thing. It's mud blood. Filthy mud <laughs> floods. Um, but basically, it like devastated the whole world. Like there's this cataclysm that happened across the entire globe, and Tartaria was like one of the only empires that still had like children alive, mm-hmm. and so they were like defeated. And then basically, the Tartarian children were placed in different families all over the world because there's like videos and like pictures of like different places all over the world and you never see a child Mm -hmm. during this supposed time of right after the mud flood it's probably just a wacky bunch of baloney so we're all like russian in heritage maybe or tartarian it it is funny looking back tartaria tartaria welcome to something that never existed um i do love seeing like the old world fair (laughs) <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, like the old rocks and stuff back in the day, like ancient rocks where you would have just signatures or people just writing and scribbling. And it's like, there's always just been teenagers just graffiti. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> and it's like, yeah. I love that. Like, like when you really think about it, like we, we all changed. enter into the world in the exact same, like kind of mentality. We all have, are very, very similar. Like a fig wasp. Yeah, exactly. We just know what to do. We're all just a bunch <laughs> of fig wasps, guys. Um, sacrificing ourselves so that and ladies graffiti. feel are com- feel comfortable, I guess you know, so could, they could do their job. Yeah, yeah. That's something um, that they said in the holdovers is just like the the human experience. There's nothing new. There's nothing different. Yeah, but they make you feel like it is like that. We've evolved. We've changed and all these things, and it's like it, they, it's all it's all one it's side the morality of, news, man. of man, yeah. baby. Suffering, joy, all of those things. It's all mm-hmm. everybody experiences. And the goal is to have a little more joy than suffering. Hey, 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 hey. All I'll right. I'll drink Jason Momoa's beer to that. Oh, Fan mail. Mail. from Richmond. I've been selling my soul, soul. Working, working it all day, day. overtime hours for bull poop pay. <gasps> I can say bull poop. Yeah, you cannot, dude. But it's from what's from I'm the president. Literally, I'm literally tearing the litter. <laughs> oh, Andy. Sorry. They sent it in like a cardboard box. Ooh, we got some stickers, maybe. Let's see here. <laughs> Sloths. Sloths. All righty. Hello from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I love watching y'all's podcast so much. Y'all are so funny and great people. I genuinely look forward to watching new episodes and even rewatching older ones. <laughs> my church youth group and youth group I used to be in always get Sunday cool tees for events, and they are my favorite shirts to wear. Nice. Thank you. Go, go, Y'all go, are the go. best and keep up with doing because it is amazing. I included some sloth stickers because my mother-in-law got me a massive pack of them for Christmas. I don't know what to do with any of them. So happy. <laughs> Save Merry Christmas. <laughs> Say, yeah, just send us your trash yeah, while, it's while like, you're at it. I don't, don't want to throw these away, but... But Question for y'all: Sloppy wet kiss or unforeseen kiss? Sloppy, sloppy wet, sloppy wet, dude. I think it's it's more. It's pure, dude. It's, sloppy it's, it's wet like, kiss. If I love my daughter, I'm just gonna give her a sloppy wet kiss. You mm-hmm. know, it's like yeah. I love you. Okay, Tom Brady. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh. Anyways, that's it. Episode 74, baby. In the books. In the books. In the books. In the books. I think the next episode, we're going to be in February. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be Groundhog's Day. Month of love. On on the day the podcast comes I think out? February 2nd is that Friday. Yep. Groundhog's Day, baby. Dude, we should nice. just like have the podcast like keep repeating itself. Every five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we start talking about the same. Hey, speaking of this, and then yeah, say yeah. the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> then- <laughs> That's crazy. But speaking of this, and it's over and over yep. and over. We it's got some potential time. plans for a Valentine's Day episode. Yeah, in the super works. fun that we're going to need do your we? guys' help. Uh, maybe I mentioned. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, do. So make sure to go to Sunday school, SundayCoolSwag.com. Yep. Get, Get your swag merch. for Ninja merch, Sunday Cool merch. It's all there. We got some new T-shirts. Be the one of the very only to yeah. get these. Be the so, one so, of the very only. I love it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive, dude. Um, but yeah, and then go to sundaycool.com if you need some custom apparel, baby. And please give us five stars on everything. Please. Please. Um, what you doing? <laughs> All right. That's it. Ah, Love you. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the podcast. Bye. 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 Go to patreon.com for oh, yeah. some butterflies to get another episode because we're going right back to back, baby. Yeah. Episode 74 and a half will be on Patreon. Exclusive content.
Oh, dude. That was really that impressive. That was amazing. I'm out the mall. Wow. Man, man, man. Ooh, that red bottom blue. 